New Year at 6 o'clock, a group of Tennessee voters just filed a federal lawsuit against a new state voting law. Now, the League of Women Voters of Tennessee, along with former Knoxville Mayor Victor Ash, are challenging a new law that requires election officials to place a sign at every polling place warning voters in bolded language that to vote in a party's primary, they must be a, quote, bona fide member of or declare allegiance to a party or else face criminal prosecution. The lawsuit says the language of the sign is based on a Tennessee law that has been in effect for more than 50 years but never enforced. The League of Women Voters says that's confusing and intimidating for voters and may even keep people from experiencing their right to vote. We need to be encouraging voting, not discouraging it, and this definitely falls in the discouraging category. The Tennessee League of Women Voters worked with Phil Lawson and former Knoxville Mayor Victor Ash on the lawsuit. They worry it may deter people from voting. If, you know, if you think you're subject to criminal charges for voting in a primary, I think you will reconsider. And Tennessee always, already ranks very low in voter turnout. The wording of the law is what has raised concern. The issue is what is a bona fide member who, who determines if you're a Democrat or Republican uh, other than you say you are. And uh, in our country, in a democracy, you have a right to change your mind. You might be a Democrat one year, you may be a Republican another year. Legal analyst Greg Isaac says the state constitution does not require party affiliation in order to vote. Clearly, Tennesseans have, a, have an absolute right to vote. Um, and it's ludicrous, unconstitutional to make someone uh, declare they're a bona fide member of a party. I, I guess my question is, if you're not bona fide, if you're, you're kind of, sort of, maybe, uh, whatever, but it has really opened a constitutional Pandora's box. He predicts prosecution based on this law will be limited if it happens at all. Basically, what they're trying to do is deter people voting in primaries uh, that are not members of a political party uh, by threatening a criminal prosecution. I think it's going to be very rare, if ever, that a prosecutor uh, would arrest a citizen uh, under this statute. For Ash, the law is the opposite of what he believes the goal should be. I think we should all, as former or current public officials, do everything we can to encourage people to get out to vote. Vote for the candidate of their choice and the party of their choice. And this law seems to work against that. Per the law, election officials are required to place a sign at every polling place warning of the new rules, and poll workers must inform voters when they come to vote.